IXR Labs Reactor Coolant Pump Machine Module helps students to identify the various parts, know about their functioning and understand the working of the reactor coolant pump. So this is the reactor coolant pump in our virtual lab and we'll point at the various parts and put them aside to see each part in detail. We can grab any part so that it comes close and we can observe it from different angles. To know more about each part in detail, let's click on the separate parts option. The coolant pump splits into its constituent parts across our virtual space and we can read about it in the prompt that pops up on the left. We can click on any part so that it comes close and starts to rotate if we keep pointing on it. A brief description of the part replaces the previous description in the prompt on the left. The same can be done with all the other parts. Now let's take a look at the X-ray view and see where the different parts of the reactor coolant pump are located inside. We can see a proper labeling of all the parts and clicking on any name makes it visible inside with the prompt telling us about the part. To know about the working of the reactor coolant pump, let's click on the show working option. We are presented with an introduction to the coolant pump that briefly tells us about its working. Moving forward, we get to see the first step of its working in which the pump impeller rotates as power is supplied to the motor. The coolant enters the impeller area through the suction nozzle at high temperature and pressure. In step 2, a centrifugal force is generated inside the impeller, increasing the coolant's velocity. In step 3, the coolant exits the discharge nozzle and enters the pipe that provides cooling to the reactor core. 